episode. Dreams. The episode. Dreams. Episodes. Dreams. The episode. The um. The um. Fort. Themed theme episode three thirty five pounds per episode theme bye for now think Welcome! Got an unboxing to do today of two figures. One a Funko Pop and the other one is a Funko Soda figure. I was looking on Pop Figures website. Yes, that's who this order is from. And um, I was just browsing through the soda cans and then there was one in the line that I exclusively collect sodas in at Icons, of course, for those who don't remember. And I was like, oh, hang on, I need that. It was a pretty good price as well. I'm trying to think, it was under 15, I'm sure it was. I can't remember the exact price. And then I've been seeing another pop around on their site and one or two other sites quite cheap as well, actually. And I just thought I'd get this and add it to the order. I didn't get free postage because this total order didn't reach £30. I don't even think it reached £20, to be honest, as the pop, I think, was about £6 something. Right, let's get this open. So I wouldn't call the pop impulsive, but it's one that I was willing to wait for. It seems to be getting cheaper everywhere every time I see it. So I thought, oh, I'll just get it because I'm going to want it eventually. Pop figures look like they've done some good packaging, as always. The pops come in a sorter. The soda, which will open second, has come bubble wrapped. Yet another pop figure sticker. <sighs> Some more jelly beans. Whoop whoop, how many have we got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Is that right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, and your other one, you had 11. I know, that's because it was such an awesome Because pop. you had a grail in it, so you had 11. We've also got some pop figures jelly beans, is what I was talking about. Let's give them a count. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <gasps> nine! Nine, the chase pack! Woohoo! We've got. The obligatory sweets, which Abby will no doubt count. Not many. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine in that one. Shut up! Shut up! Shut hey. up! Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! Right, so, we'll have a little look at the pop first. This one I think has been out for, could be getting on for four years now. It won't be vaulted. I think this is still widely available. And as I say, the sites I tend to check, it's been reduced for a while, but I think this is the cheapest I've seen it. Not much more than six pound. It's got me in a protector, as the majority of pop figures products tend to do. I'm talking about number 900 in the pop television range. From Doctor Who, this is the Kablam Man. Right. I do love his eyes. Got these sort of starey blue eyes there. I've said it on many occasion, and you'll no doubt hear it again. The Doctor Who line, I wasn't in a rush to complete it because I've not got anywhere close to completing actually watching the series yet. But now that there's so few Doctor Who pops that I actually need to have one character each, I am now picking them all up because I will be familiar with these characters sooner or later. Very cheap, just a common pop, nothing to get overly excited about, although I do think it looks really cool. And from the pictures I've seen of him online, I'm looking forward to this episode of Doctor Who. I'm not sure which one it is, maybe I'll put it on screen. And I know it's the 13th Doctor one in the Jodie Whittaker era. Speaking of which, we can see the lovely Ms. Whittaker there in her goggles. I haven't got that one yet, but I'm going to get that or, you know, some sort of 13th Doctor at some point. That one seems to be the one that's like really cheap cheap along with Kablam Man. I think there is more expensive and vaulted ones, possibly even a convention exclusive that's just silly money. And there's a, I think that might be a Renaissance Dalek there. I've got a normal Dalek, I don't want more than one of those. We'll have a quick look out of the box at Kablam Man before we move on to the Ad Icon Soda opening. Here he is. I can't really speak apart from 
telling you how it looks and you can see that for yourself. But I can't really give you any context as to what this person or this creature could be a robot. So it gives off some robot vibes to me when I looked online at the photos. I can't really say much else apart from its appearance really. But it's got this sort of conductor's hat on with a strap over his chin got these really hypnotic blue eyes here I think make it a real eye-catching pop pardon the pun he's holding something in his hands there it's a box of some description but I can't see the fine detail it's like a pink color with some sort of pattern or design on it and he's got his call it like a bus or train conductor's uniform or is it like even a postman no or an old-fashioned postman I don't know <laughs> Come on Doctor Who fans, out you come from the woodwork, let me know what the Kablam Man is exactly. Black shoes, he's got red trim on his trousers there, very nice that. One of the more different looking pops, predominantly thanks to the eyes really that I've got in quite some time. But it is another one to edge ever closer to completing the Doctor Who line. I mean, I'm assuming probably next year now, unless they decide to squeeze a few out to celebrate the BBC centenary at the end of this year. You'd imagine there'd be some more Funko Pops come out around the time that the 14th Doctor era begins next year. But there we are, Kablam Man. Wonderful stuff there from Pop Figures and very cheap paying about not much over six pound for a Funko Pop and you get your free protector as well cannot be bad but the main event today is the soda opening as I say I don't think this soda was overly expensive but this one I definitely haven't got I do have him in pop form though as I can say that for almost all of my sodas this is Twinkie the Kid from uh, Hostess Twinkies the sugary rather overly sweet cream cake kind of snacks that are popular in America. Just saw this on the soda section of Pop Figures site. I was like, yeah, I've got to get this. It's an ad icon. It fits right in the collection. The amount that's been produced, it looks to me like it's 10,000 pieces. Don't think we've got an exclusive sticker of any sort on here. No. Nope. Now then, the chase of this, I believe, is like a golden or metallic version. I don't think the chase looks overly great for this, to be perfectly honest. So I'm hoping for the common. If I pull the chase, then I'm going to be perfectly happy and it's going to be a bit of excitement for at least a couple of seconds in my life anyway. I'd be more inclined to want the common here, but there's only one way to find out, isn't there? Let's get it open. So the cellophane comes off relatively easy, as it tends to do. Right then, how easy is it going to be to open the lid? Ooh, yeah, I think I'm struggling with this one. Luckily, I did remember to put my butter knife here. That uh, often seems to be a pretty good tool for opening these soda lids. It, or it would be if I could get some leverage under it. Come on, we're almost open here. Have I wedged that open enough? No, not yet. I don't know why these are so inconsistent, these soda lids. Some just come off so easy, and then other ones like this one. An absolute pain in the arse, surely now. Nope. Oh, this one's been put on tight. Oh, there we are. Oh, God, didn't I make a meal of that? Right then, you can see the black bin bag poking out. I can hear the pog, not looking. I can't see it at all. I can't tell you where this is the common or the chase, although you will probably be able to see it before I can. Yeah, it's the common, and I'm pleased that it is, because the golden one, or the metallic one, whatever they call it, I don't think looks brilliant. You want Twinkie the Kid to look like Twinkie the Kid, and this one does. He looks like a proper Twinkie. So yeah, he's got his cowboy hat on, he's got his bandana slash bib with the Hostess logo on. And his hat says Twinkie the Kid. He's got his big brown cowboy boots on. He's got blue legs. So I don't know if it's classed as trousers. Oh, has he got a lasso in his right hand there? I think he has. And uh, I think a holster there. As a character, would be mainly aimed towards children. I don't think they'd be allowed to show him holding an actual gun, understandably. Very happy with Twinkie the Kid. We'll go to the Pog for confirmation that this is the common. Yep. There we go, Twinkie the Kid, and he is number one, or one, I should say, out of 6,400. So not an awful lot of these. Glad that I snapped this up when I saw it. I'm not sure how long this was actually on the Pop Figures site for. 
but it does pay to check back regularly. It wasn't in the add icon section where it perhaps should have been with all the other add icons and some of the sodas in the add icons line that I've already got over the past couple of years or so. Always worth checking as many different sections as possible. So there we are, happy with these purchases today. Great little add icon soda here, Twinkie the Kid certainly my favorite of the two here just because i love ad icons but um, i think a very underrated pop and one that i'll be happy to add to the doctor who collection particularly once i've eventually got round to seeing the episode that he's in kablam man thank you all for watching i hope you enjoyed this look at a funko pop and a funko soda both from pop figures special thanks go as always to my wonderful subscribers and generous patrons my Funko affiliate links, including some discount codes for some brilliant Funko selling sites, are down in the description text box, alongside my Patreon link, my Facebook group link, and yes, Mr. Lee Teasdale, also a contents insurance link as well. I'm going to go now, and I've got some stuff to display. You've got to make some room in the Doctor Who display for the Kablam Man, and in my soda display goes Twinkie the Kid the little cowboy cream cake fella and I do hope that all of you will join me again next time for my next Funko Pop and Funko Soda unboxing video. Cheers everyone. See ya! Episode, insert episode here, episode. This is the episode, any episode, episode. think of one, you think of the other, an episode. Get out of my head, episode, episode, do do I was. Mm. Just shut up, episode. This episode is, I don't care. Episodes. Episode with me dollies. I'm 44 this year. Or episode down the road. Episode, I don't care how many times I've said the word episode. Episode, episode. Bye for now, bye.